It was huge. Let's find out. You know, I think that giant snowball is a comet. Comets are just big balls of ice and dust and rock until they get near the sun. Look, it's changing. Is it melting? It looks like the heat of the sun is setting it on fire. Because the sun's energy heats the comet's ice and gases, it's growing a long tail. Comet's dead! Willow, what do I do? Ah! You got this, Lily. Remember the button I told you not to touch? Well, punch it! Punching it! on those chairs. Yes, please! <laughs> Starting with the seat belts. <laughs> Check! Down, up! Right! <laughs> Great work, Polos. There's just one last thing left to do. Lift off! Already? Not yet. We're training to lift off. I'm flying us in a test loop to show us what it feels like to lift off. Whoa! 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 When we zoom up really fast, this is what we'll feel. High G-forces! This means we'll feel heavier! Oh, oh wow! wow. Lolly. Lolly. And when we get to space, this is what we'll feel. Low G-forces. We'll feel lighter, like we're weightless. Yeah! Won't that be fun, Willow? Oh, I won't be floating, Marco. This pilot's got to stay focused. Is everyone feeling okay? I'm good! Yay! Affirmative. Great! Then we're ready to be Astro Polos. Audrey, change to Polo Galactic and begin countdown, please. Polo Galactic launch in five, four, three, two, one, lift off. Complete. Welcome to space, Polos. You may now unbuckle your seatbelts and begin floating around in the cabin. Hey! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> Willow, you've got to try this. Weightlessness is the best. I'm sure it is, but someone has to pilot the ship. Set it on autopilot. 
that's just for emergencies. It doesn't have to be. But I always fly the ship. Okay, if you're sure. Oh, oh, this is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Look at me. Oh, yeah. 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 Look at me. I'm yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Being weightless looks like fun. Woo, woo. Can use autopilot just for a few seconds. Audrey, autopilot for me, please. Autopilot activated. <gasps> wow! <Woo -hoo! laughs> I'm sure glad you could make it. Me too. On Earth, gravity keeps our feet on the ground, but in space, being weightless rocks. Yeah! know my vehicles, and these are definitely made by a vehicle. A Martian vehicle, driven by a Martian creature. <gasps> but there is no life on Mars that we know of yet. No water, remember? Then what made that? Come on, Polos, let's follow the track. Yeah! Whoa! Here we go, Polos! What's that up ahead? It is the tallest volcano in the solar system, called Olympus Mons. Whoa! Olympus Mons is ginormous! Stop! Look at that! Starting here, the tracks go all over the place. Whatever made them could have gone any direction. Let's get out there and try to see which way they went. Telescope! Telescope! Oh! following. So, totally not a Martian vehicle with a Martian in it. Nope. There is no life, life on Mars, Mars that we know, know of yet. yet. But people sent the Mars rover here to explore the surface, take readings, and send the information back to Earth. Wow. <gasps> do I hear happy birthday? What do you know? Years ago, the rover landed here on this day. It's rover's birthday. <laughs> we didn't find any life on Mars, but we did find the rover, and that's just as great. Happy birthday, Mars rover. Happy birthday to you. Hello. Want a birthday cake in your toolbox? Yep, there may not be life on Mars, but there are birthdays. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I want to be the first explorer to walk on the moon. <gasps> the first? Gorby? Yeah, I'm never first at anything. This will be my first first ever. That deserves a glow stick. Maybe two. How well can you twirl? But, but, Gorby, um... Something wrong, Chester? Yeah? Gorby won't be the first explorer to walk on the moon. Neil Armstrong was the first astronaut to walk on the moon. He did it many years ago. Gorby's going to be so upset. It's okay, Chester. He's going to find out eventually. It's better just to tell him. He'll understand. Ta-da! Who wants to take a picture of me being first on the moon? Me! Uh, uh, Yay! <laughs> Me. Huh? Gobby! Lucky! Arriving at the moon. It's kind of hard to miss it, huh? <laughs> Buckle up, Polos. It's time for a moon landing. <laughs> The 
supposed to hop on the moon. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ooh! Now I'm the first to fall on the moon. Uh, Gorby, there's something I need to tell you. Whoa, whoa! Ah! Oh, gravity! I forgot. Easy peasy. I know. It takes a little getting used to. But it's fun to be this light and floaty. Yes, the moon's gravity is much lower than Earth's. But that's not what I was going to tell you. In fact, why don't I just show you? A flag? How did it get there? Astronauts planted it when they landed here back in 1969. So they were the first explorers to walk on the moon? Not me? <gasps> this is great! I know, it's, huh? Great? How? Because it's giving me a great idea! I may not be the first explorer to walk on the moon, but I am the first polo to walk on the moon. And it's my dream come true to be here with all my friends to enjoy it. Yay! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> now, who's the highest jumper on the moon? Go! 